Hi and welcome along to the third in the tutorial series of programming the ID5100 with the CS5100 software. We can look at uh, other ways of manipulating the data that you can export from the uh, software. For example if we were to look uh, in this in the ID5100 file that came from Japan you'll see that the memory channels from 200 to 299 are empty. But if we were to go to the ID51 software and uh, look at my particular uh, radio software, you'll see that I've populated 100 to 199 with uh, lots of UK repeaters. So what we can do is we can do a file, export, and we can export the memory channel uh, bank that we're in and I've created it earlier so I'm just going to overwrite the one I've done. So now I've saved that bank as a CSV format file. So I can go back to the ID5100, select the same bank if I wish, or a new bank, and I could do File, Import, go down to that file, double click it, and there you'll see that I've imported in uh, all the data that was in the ID51 into the ID5100. Majority of the new radios follow the same format, so it's quite a, an easy matter of copying and pasting. But if you've got an earlier radio and it has got the export function, but the fields are not exactly the same, if we were to go and have a look in a spreadsheet program at the CSV file that's been exported you'll see that from the ID5100 there it is all populated but if we look at um, an, an empty file from the ID5100 uh, then you end up with the layout for how the data needs to be so you end up with the fields already uh, named for you so that you can go and cut and paste from your original f file. For example, we could uh, cut the copy of these and go to the name field and and paste those. Double click there so we get the width right. So you see now that I put all the names in, I could go backwards and forwards and create myself a file from a previous version of software and make it uh, into a file suitable for importing into the ID51 or any other of the ICOM radios that follow the, the format. So once we've done that, don't forget to save it away. Um, save it onto your SD card and in the next tutorial we'll look at the way in which you can copy that across to the SD card and load it into the radio. Hope that's helpful. Thanks for watching.